Hey guys, welcome back. So Joe of BoxyCharm went live on his personal Facebook account for about 30 minutes, which is probably the longest live he's done. And he answered a ton of questions that he's seen on social media as of late. And he answered a few questions that I had as well as <laughs> reminded me why I got the box that I got yesterday. Just saying. The box? that I unboxed yesterday. If you didn't see it, I'm gonna link it in the description box and up here. Totally go check it out because all the other boxes were good and then yesterday's box, I was like, what is going on here? So yeah, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. But he answered a ton of questions and we are going to discuss it. Now, do keep in mind, if you wanna see the entire video, you are going to have to go check it out. I'll find it and link it for you guys down below. I have a list of notes that I am going to base what I'm saying on. Um, Joe had a list himself. Nothing is in any particular order, so stay throughout the entire video. That way, if you had any questions that you needed answers for, you're probably gonna find it here, and if not, then maybe it's a question that he'll answer in the near future. So Joe would normally go on to Facebook groups and go live there or upload videos there, showing spoilers, addressing questions that charmers have, and he hasn't been doing that as of late. Someone did ask the question and that's why he was answering it. So basically he's saying that there are so many platforms with so many BoxyCharm dedicated accounts that it's really hard to upload and go live on every single one of them. And I'm giving you guys the short version because again, he was on his live for about 30 minutes. And so he's decided he's just gonna do his lives more so on his personal accounts and then kind of share it that way, which I honestly think is a better deal only because in order to access his videos in the past, you would have to join the Facebook groups. And a lot of people didn't wanna join Facebook just to see the videos or didn't wanna join a Facebook group. So if he goes live on his personal Facebook account, it makes it easier for everyone. It is a public account, so you can just click the link and see the video versus having to join a group. It is great to join a group. I, I am a member of like, I think three groups, but for those of you who are not interested in joining a group, this is a really, really good change. I wanna take a brief moment to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. The button is like right down there. And make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. That way, no matter what, you won't miss out on any of my new uploads. YouTube will let you know every single time I release a new video. And you'll be in the know with regards to Boxy Charm events, all unboxings, spoilers, tutorials, tips and tricks, makeup looks, and just me being me. He talked about the beauty quiz and personalized customizations, which in my opinion, it is not um, exactly where it needs to be as of yet, but he's saying that the quiz has been updated, so you should go in and personalize it. I did see that they included tinted moisturizers as well as BB creams, and you could also provide the frequency in which you'd like to see these items in your box. This has been up and running for some time now. I wanna say maybe two months is when I realized that I just totally forgot to come on here, <laughs> you guys know, but He's saying that you guys should totally go in there and make sure you update that, fill in your information for the BB creams as well as the moisturizers and any new questions because there were additional brand new questions launched over in the new survey. He's saying that in addition to completing your survey, you should also review your entire box as well as individual items because that is being synchronized with your personalizations to help them figure out exactly what they should and should not include in your boxes. Again, I don't know if this is has been going on for a while or this is like something that just like I don't know like it's supposed to be working better as of yesterday or last week all I know is that um, it's still not where it needs to be although I personally don't really have much issue with my boxes except yesterday because I'm more of a wild card kind of person so I'm willing to try anything and everything different colors and all that stuff um, but I know that not everyone is like that so I just say let's try to remain positive and make sure you're completing your surveys even if it's just once a month and make sure you do all your reviews. He also talked about comments with regards to so many variations and he's saying that, this is my short version, they need to get enough product to cover everyone's boxes and at the same time pinpoint things that are gonna make 
almost every single person happy. And that's going to be a little hard because we are all different. The things that I have absolutely loved, you guys were like, girl, no. So it's one of those things where you're not going to make every single person happy, but they're doing their best to achieve that to the best of their ability. You know, I do feel, in my opinion, that they have months that are amazing and then they have the one month that you're like, what happened? But then they redeem themselves the very next month. So it's kind of like a roller coaster sometimes. They have way more great months rather than the ones that are not like that great, in my opinion. He spoke about the pandemic and how it is affecting BoxyCharm in general. And he said, you know, they're still doing really well. It's not like they, they were affected like drastically, but still, I mean, he showed the behind the scenes that there was no one in the office. That is a big impact when you cannot have the team internally working out of a warehouse where they have everything that they need in order to fulfill all their jobs to the best of their abilities, there are going to be some hiccups. And so he did say some people did get repeat items, which they shouldn't have. And so whoever reached out and said that they got repeats, obviously that was corrected. However, there's an issue where people are getting repeats, but they're not exactly repeats. And that makes sense as to why I got the box that I got yesterday. And he brought that up and then I was like, so true. I also had someone in my comment section mention it to me and say, but girl, and I was like, so true, didn't think about it. So I'm gonna use this Tress Deke mascara as an example because I know it's one of the items that were sent out this month. Say I have this mascara, I received it last year. I don't remember what month it was, but say I received it last year, right? If I received it this month, they would replace my product because they have it registered under my account that I received it last year year however if i opened a brand new subscription which i did i opened three and i was very transparent about that because i'm doing a little experiment if i opened a brand new subscription there's no history of boxes before right that that would be my initial like my very first box so Therefore, this would not be a repeat with that account. So I think there's an issue with the wording that it is being used in general. Even on my end, I'm using the wrong wording. It's more of the account will not and should not receive a repeat item. If the account receives a repeat item, they would replace it. However, if the individual has more than one account and say account A never got this and account B did get it, it is the first time you are getting it. It is a repeat product in BoxyCharm as a whole, but it is not a repeat product that you are receiving at the current moment. And so, yes, my box, which I still have over here, I did have items that have been featured in BoxyCharm in the past. However, it is not necessarily a repeat item for me. Then he started talking about the repeat items. Guys, this was a the topic of conversation this entire week. Why are we seeing repeat items in choice? And he talked about it. Technically, if you did not choose it, it is not a repeat, which is, is very true. I give him that. I think that we wanted, this is like the charmer, I mean, the paid charmer and me talking right now. I think that we were expecting to see just brand new items featured in choice versus items that we've already seen in BoxyCharm. It's not necessarily a bad thing that we've already seen them in BoxyCharm, it's just that we expected more and it kind of is what it is. But what he explained with regards to the repeat items being featured in choice is the charmer gets to choose which item out of the list you want to see. If you end up choosing an item you've already received, say that you want it as a backup, then that is your choice. But it is your choice whether or not you want a repeat item or not. So for example, the milk product. I already received this, but I didn't get the lighter shade, which was like more pinky red. This is like the purple one. I wanted that. I didn't care for any of the other items. I liked this so much that I ended up choosing the pinker one. Technically, it is a repeat product, but not a repeat shade. Does that make sense? If they would have had this very same shade as a choice item, I would have never chosen it. But that would have been my choice. He also mentioned that um, people were asking why this is not full size if premium and these boxes are supposed to bring and give us full size items. He says, this is full size. He says, milk ended up changing their packaging. He goes, I didn't even know that they changed the packaging. This is full size. 
I don't think, I'm not complaining about the size because, and I didn't even mention the size because this is so much product, I'm not gonna go through this entire thing. But if you really pull it all the way up and you decided to dismantle it and flatten it into like a pan, this would actually fill up two pans. So I'm not mad about the size, but I, I get it. It is a more of a mini look, but he says uh, milk makeup were the ones who changed the packaging. Within that very same live, we got official confirmation and I will put that here on this video because that's extremely important to me. I'm like all about the spoilers. This is an update video, but I do have to put this little clip in here. He confirmed that all premium members will be receiving the avocado mask and all premium members are going to be getting the Too Faced contour palette. Now, obviously I mentioned that in yesterday's video, it wasn't really in depth or anything like that. And I didn't have concrete proof. I literally just had a post and I said, well, you know, Joe did say you'll get both. So at this point we have a verbal confirmation, visual, verbal, actual video saying everyone is getting it. However, there's a little disclaimer. I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer because then he followed up with this. If you sign up later, maybe not. So what does that mean? Anyone who is a current premium member is going to get both. If you sign up now, more than likely you are going to get the two items. The closer we get to June, there's a possibility if you just upgrade to premium, you may not end up getting say the Too Faced palette. So the items are currently confirmed and guaranteed for premium members and possibly whoever signs up now. We're gonna have uh, the Glow Recipe Avocado Mask, and it goes for everybody, that's the retinol one, and I show Too Faced uh, palette that goes in, everyone gets it, if you are subscribed. Now, if you come later on, you might get a different item, a beautiful tart palette, a very big one, but that's only a maybe because, uh, no, it's not maybe, it's, it will, but a very small amount for new members that will join later on. So that is uh, it about that. If you're interested in the two products, upgrade to premium now, do not wait till last minute. I do have a link in the description box. It is an affiliate link. I get a little bit of a commission and I really appreciate it if you were to use that, you're really helping me out. However, if you choose not to use it, that's perfectly fine. You can just go to their website and upgrade that way. Yeah, there were questions with regards to boxy looks and these are the final two things that we're gonna talk about right now. So basically he was, uh, responding to people's inquiries with regards to whether or not we're gonna get to a point where we can have boxy looks and premium and not have to worry about base because it is a process and it's kind of like an annoying process and it's confusing, I know. It, 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 it's, it's more complicated than it needed to be, in my opinion, and he agrees with that. He says it would have been less of a headache to have just launched boxy looks and then premium as two different tiers and guys, choose the one that you guys want and you're good to go. They didn't end up going that route because premium wasn't even a thought. That was an afterthought. The idea was, okay, you know, it would be cool if people can upgrade and every three months get like a bigger box. That was the idea. It was an innovative idea. Um, however, then eventually premium came in and then it's just, it's, it's, so will we ever get to a point where I can have a Lux and have premium and not need to have base if I don't want to? Watch the video yourself. But what I'm getting from what he said is, mm, I think they've decided decided that they're not gonna go that route. It sounds like it's way more complicated than just clicking a button or two or three, which kind of sucks because that would have been awesome just to have the subscription that you want, the tier that you want, and move on with your life, but it doesn't sound like that's gonna be the case. And the very last question was, I upgraded to Lux, but it says waitlist. How do I know for sure that I'm going to get the next Lux box? Or how do I know that I'm off the waitlist or that I will get off of the waitlist? Cause there's really no guarantee. And what he's saying is that there's an idea up in the air. So nothing is official quite yet, but there's an idea where if you were to upgrade to Lux, you would automatically be billed and receive a kind of like Lux starter box. That way you wouldn't have to wait two or three months to get off of the list. So you can reap the benefits of having upgraded the moment that you upgrade. I actually think that's a terrific idea, in my opinion, because it sucked having to wait on a wait list and not knowing if I was going to get out. So I think it's amazing. I think that would be 
like terrific if they were to implement that there's still no words as to a skip button the app they're still working on it but nothing is set in stone so there's a lot that's still up in the air however at least we got a few answers today that was all the information he shared today let me know down below what do you guys think what do you guys feel do you feel like he answered your questions just let me know down below also <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you're like girl because <laughs> this box i was like what happened but this was a brand new subscription that i opened which makes sense as to why I got items that were previously featured, but I hadn't received yet. That is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.